An uncertain future for a Rockford High School senior has rallied his fellow students and now the community around him. Yeah, and they all want to make sure that life as he's come to know it in West Michigan doesn't end. I got a chance to meet this student yesterday and walk the halls with him, and it's clear he's made a name for himself. And now those supporting him want his story to go even further. It takes about 320 steps for Shamarat, or Sean, as his friends call him, to get to his American Studies class. As you can now see, he can't see. And counting steps is just one part of the process of navigating the busy halls of Rockford High School. There's a lot you can't see about the foreign exchange student just by looking at him. He's only been in West Michigan for eight months. He learned to read years worth of Braille in that short amount of time. The Kyrgyzstan native never had a cane before coming to the U.S. And despite the challenge of having just a pinpoint of sight. If I need my vision, I will use my left edge of my left eye. He excels academically. He's one of six applicants out of 100,000 to earn an academic scholarship to study in the U.S. He's also an artist who loves creating for others and working with his hands, especially pottery. When I make something with pottery, I don't use my vision at all, just my fingers. My teacher said it's very good, but I cannot judge myself. And if all that wasn't enough, he made the varsity wrestling team. If you stayed home, oh. um, what, what would you have been missing out on? 90% of my knowledge. He was a perfect fit for his host family. The Thebos already have three blind children, two of which were adopted from China. And he calls Kim and Brian mom and dad. It would be weird if he called me Kim because he's he's just mine. Before the exchange program, Sean grew up in a boarding school for the blind without any of these resources, and he may have been destined to be farm help. I've never had a student like Sean before. Paula Newman, a teacher consultant for the visually impaired believes Sean's potential was always there. He was just never given a chance. The hardest thing about teaching Sean was keeping up with him. Sean has learned to use computers, which he never had access to before. They work by talking to him, relaying what's on the screen. But that ability to hear is also at risk. In addition to his vision loss, Eardrum damage has caused profound loss to his hearing, which is critical for someone who is blind. To think that he's he's getting missing, you know, 50% of the information, it's really um, concerning. An elective surgery would fix it, but it costs more than $20,000. So a call for help was sent out and it didn't take long to spread. I would say almost every person at this school knows um, at least of Sean and most of them know about his story. Isabel Glover, a senior at Rockford High, leads the foreign exchange students through the school's peer program. And now she's also leading the charge to raise money for the surgery, setting up a GoFundMe. I just know that he has so, so much potential in this world and I wanna help him achieve that. Part of the fundraising is for the surgery, but because bad news doesn't come one at a time, there's a very real possibility when the exchange program ends, Sean will have to go back to Kyrgyzstan and stay there. Without proof of college tuition, Sean wouldn't be able to get another visa. Everything would be taken away from him. No more computer, no more cane. Back to the old life that he lived before. Um, with very, very little resources in any way to help him. And you can't count the steps that far around the world. It's really, really scary to think about him going back to Kyrgyzstan right now with the war going on. And he lived in a boarding school for the blind his, most of his life. So not having a lot of family um, support. And I just feel like we'll be throwing them home to the, you know, to the wolves. But, and this is no surprise, because of the impact Sean's story has had on the community, more than half of the money needed has already been raised. All Sean says he's worried about counting now is how much gratitude it takes to pay back. Right now I can say thank you, but obviously it's not enough. Thank you, thank you. Even a million times it's not enough. And clearly we could go on and on about Sean, but here's a couple of notes. 
He also knows five languages. Languages, And I'm happy to break this news as well. He also recently asked Isabel, who you heard from in the story, to prom. They both have that to look forward to at the end of the semester. Sean would like to go to Stanford or even Michigan State. Their hope they're watching as well. Now the GoFund that GoFundMe that we talked about has already raised quite a bit of money, more than $21,000. That's well on their way to their full go, full goal, half of which will go to surgery, the rest to tuition. Now if he can secure that money, he'd still have to go back to Kyrgyzstan on a technicality, even if it's just for a couple of hours to get a new visa to fly right back to West Michigan. So they're hoping to avoid that. But that's looking like that's a very real possibility at this point. Janice. Ah, he's got a bright future ahead. We hope he gets all the help that he needs. Josh, thanks for that story.